Good morning, I'm Jayla DeBerry and we're here at Radcliffe in my fifth grade class. Today we're going to be doing a review lesson on fractions. Alright friends, so what have we been talking about over the course of the last four weeks, three, four weeks? Go ahead, Serenity. We've been talking about the denominators. What else have we been doing with fractions? Yes, uh, Journey. Unlike denominators, what else? After we find our answer, what else do we have to do sometimes? Simplify. Simplify. What else, in what other capacity have we been doing fractions? Yes. Improper fractions, what else? What is that? Huh? Improper, yeah, that's what's up. Um, what other way? We, I know you guys, you dislike it. It's long. You have to circle the numbers inside of it. You have to underline the key questions. What else have we been doing? Um, a new hand. Go ahead, Kaysen. We've been doing word problems. All right, so today you have a test on which day? Monday. Monday. So we're going to do some review. I have a problem on the board. What is our first step? Yes. Um, Kinsley. Before that, what do we do? Yes, camera. We need to write it vertically. So I should see everyone doing that on their desk. So 2 over 3 plus 2 over 4. You should all be writing that on your desk. Okay, so what do we notice about this problem? Yes, camera. The denominators are different. So what do we need to do to make the denominator the same? Yes, Josiah. Oh, we got to find a least common multiple. Okay. How do we do that? You know, weekend coming up, Mr. Barry, she forgot. I don't remember. How do we do that? Serenity? Okay, so we're going to list out our multiples for which numbers? What is that term? Yes, Anaya? Not quite what I'm looking for. Honesty. We're going to do it for our denominators. So you're going to highlight, this was your test, you'll highlight your denominators, and you'll start writing out your multiples. So you're going to write your multiples for 3 and 4. What is 3 times 1? Three. Together. Three. 3. What's 3 times 2? Two? 3 times 3. Nine. Are we done? No. no, because how many should I say we always have to list? 4. four. All right, so what's 3 times 4? 12. 12. Now are we done? Yes. All right, what about 4? What is 4 times 1? Four. Nice job. What's four times two? Eight. Eight. What's four times three? Twelve. And lastly, what is four times four? Sixteen. Sixteen. Nice job. So can I get a hand? What is our least common multiple? Hmm. Someone I haven't called on. Timothy, can you tell me? 12, do we agree? Yes. Nice job. So we're going to circle 12. Our least common multiple is 12. All right, so I got my least common multiple. I don't know what I need to do now. What do I need to do? Who can help me? Um, go ahead. Serenity, what do I do now? That's what I do. Thank you for reminding me. So how many times when I multiply by three did it take me to get to my least common multiple? Um, go ahead, Nehemiah. Four. four, nice job. So times four. What about when I multiply by four? How many times did it take me? Journey? Times three. times three. So now that I know that, what do I need to do? I need to plug it back into my what? I love. Back into my fractions. Okay. So times four times four. Because whatever I do to the numerator, I need to do to the? Denominator. Whatever I do to the denominator, I need to do to the? Numerator. Okay. Nice job. Times three. All right. You should all have this on your board. I'm sorry, your desk. What is two times four? Out loud. Eight. Eight. What is three times four? Twelve. Twelve. What is two times three? Six. And what is four times three? Twelve. 
So do we have like denominators now? Yes. All right. So now what do I do? I have these like denominators, but are we done? Is this it? No. Is this the answer you're going to see on your test? No. Okay. What do I need to do now? Go ahead, Josiah. Add them. Add them together. Okay. I'm going to write it over here so I have more space. All right, what is 8 plus 6? 14. 14. And then what's my denominator? 12. 12. Y'all, what's wrong? What we do? It's an improper fraction. What do I need to do now? Um, let me see. I want to hear from Cameron. What do we need to do? Okay, how do we do that? I need to make a what? What is that thing called? It's some type of chart. I don't, I don't know. What is that? What is it? Um, Kason. T chart. All right. So I'm gonna make my T chart for 14, and I'm gonna make my T chart for 12. What am I? Multiple for 14. Honesty. One times 14 and two times seven. What about for 12? Um, Josiah. One times 12. One times 12. Give me another one. Um, Namir. Two times six. Nice job. Okay. Is that it? We done? Is there more? What else, Renaya? Three times what? Four. Nice job. Okay, so I have my multiples. Now what? What am I looking for? Am I looking for my least common multiple? Am I looking for my greatest common factor? What is it that I'm looking for now? Um, help me out, Kason. What am I looking for? Not quite. Who can help them out? Remember, when we make our T-charts, we're not looking for the least common multiple. We're looking for what? We're trying to simplify. We need to make the problem smaller. So we're looking for our what? Um, go ahead, honesty. The greatest common multiple, the greatest common factor. So what is that? Two. 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 You're going to circle your two. All right. So I know that my greatest common factor is two. My fraction is 14 over 12. What do I do with this two? I need to what? Yes, Kingston. Divide. Okay. Because whatever we do by the top, we need to do by the... Five. All right. So what's 14 divided by two? I can't hear you. What's 14 divided by two? Seven. And what's 12 divided by two? Six. Six. Oh, no. What's wrong? Still not right. What do we do now? Yes. Replace. So I have a hole because I have seven out of six. So I know I have more than what's at the bottom. So I'm going to place my whole number. And then what do I have left? Yes, uh, Josiah. One six. One six. So my final answer is one and one six. Make sense? Yes. You feel prepared for your test? Yes. You sure? Yes. All right. Are you guys ready to do some work on your own? Yes. Okay. So I have some stations for us today. All right. So. In station one, I'm going to pass out these little task cards, and you're going to practice what we just did on the board. So you're going to be practicing adding and subtracting fractions. Your next group, station two, what did we start working on yesterday? We were doing what with the fractions? Yes, or any? Not quite. Yes, and I? We're multiplying fractions. So you're going to have to match. The picture with the proper fraction, okay? Mm -hmm. Your third station is going to be more multiplying fractions. I really want you guys to practice that. So I have a worksheet. It's three problems. You guys are going to do great. 
And then station four, what did I tell y'all was going to be on this test that we haven't seen since the beginning of the year? Yes, uh, Kingston. Prime and composite. Should we do a prime and composite problem real quick before we get into our station? Okay, we could do that. All right, so if I put uh, 18, what do I need to make? I need to make what, Journey? A factory tree, okay. So how do I get 18? Everyone should be doing this on their desk. How do I get 18? I want someone to come and do it on the board for me. Um, let me see. Bless you. Can you go do it on the board for me, Kason? Thank you. All right, so what Kaysen did was he said that in order to get 18, three times six is 18. Is that whoop, three divided by, I'm sorry, three times six is what? 18. 18. Okay, so we broke that down. Can three be broken down anymore? No. No. So what do we do? Circle it. Circle it. Six, can that be broken down again? Yes. Yes, into what? Two, two, two. two times three. Can two be broken down anymore? No. Can three be broken down anymore? No. no. So what do we do? Circle. We circle it. So if you have your test and you see this factor tree and it asks you, what is the prime factorization, what are you going to write? Two times two. No. Three. You start with the number you see first that you circle. Three. Nice job. Three times two times three. And if you was to put that in decimals, you're going to get what? Eight. 18. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you your assignments and you guys are going to work as a group. I want to hear lots of discussion. Okay. I'm going to be walking around. All right. So what's your first number? What's the first number? 21. So how do we break that down? What times what gives me 21? What did you say? Three times, three times seven. Can three be broken down anymore? No. Can seven be broken down anymore? No. So then what did you do? So you did what? If they can't be broken down anymore, what do you do? You circle them. So our prime factorizations are what, Nehemiah? Three and seven. So is this going to be a prime or composite number? Prime, how do we know? Because that's less than two factors. Nice job. Y'all supposed to stop at 12, actually. Y'all supposed to stop at 12. What? We're right here. You're supposed to stop at 12. For two, we supposed to stop at eight. Can someone read what the first one says? Go ahead, Devon. Mary brought a 12 pack of soda. She and her friends drank one half of the pack. All right, so she brought a 12 pack of sodas and they drank half of it. The circles represent the soda. So she had 12 sodas, we have 12 circles. She drank half. I need you to shade in half of that. What would be half of 12? Six. So you need to shade in how many circles? There you go. Like this or like that? Well, it would be one all right, so one times three is what? Mm -hmm. One times three? Mm -hmm. One times three is three. There you go. And then two times one is? Two, good job. All right, so our denominator is the same now? So what do we do now? 
Okay, so what's three plus two? Three plus two. Three plus two. Five and then what goes at the bottom? And is this, does it need to be simplified anymore? Is it in its simplest form? It's in its simplest form, nice job. All right, so I wanna make sure that we're all on the same page. I'm gonna go through each station. And we're gonna go over one problem together. So over here, I have my multiplying group. Can you read the first question loud enough so the class can hear? Uh, go ahead, Serenity. All right, so we have a 12 pack of sodas, and I'm gonna use circles to represent. All right, so one, two, three, and you can do this on your desk. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's my pack of sodas. It said that her friends drank half. So half would be how many? How many do I need to shade in? Yes, uh, Kingston, how many should I shade in if we drank half? Three. Not quite. What's half of 12? Yes, Nehemiah? Six. So you're going to shade in six of the circles. And that would be half. So that's how it should look. Prime and composite. Give me a number. 57. 57? All right. Everyone write 57 on their desk. What do we need to make for this? A what? Factory tree. All right, so how do I break it down? What times what gives me 57? How do I break this one down? Anybody know? Yes, uh, Serenity. Nothing? Gotta be something. What gives me 57? One times what? 57. One times 57. Can 57 be broken down anymore? No. No, so your problem for is just one times 57. That's it. So is it prime or composite? Prime. prime. Fractions. What about fractions? Adding in and subtracting or? All right, so what's one that you want us to do on the board? One half plus two six. Is that the one we did earlier? No. Okay. What's my new fraction going to be? One times three is? Three. Three. Two times three is? Six. Six. Two times one is? Two. Two. And then six times one is? Six. Are denominators the same now? Yes. Yes, they are. So what do I have to do? I just add. What's three plus two? Five. Five. And our denominator is? Six. So that's our final answer. Do we need to simplify? No. Nope, it's already in its simplest form. Nice job. And what is my final group? Multiplying fractions. Is it one of you that's willing to come and demonstrate on the board one that you did? All right, so six times one half. You should be writing this on your desk so you can practice as well. You divided that up perfectly, nice job. So six times one half, we know that to split it in half, how many are we shading in? We're just shading in half of it. So we're shading in one and we're doing it six times because we have six groups. Nice job, Josiah. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson on fractions. Oh!